Guys, today is a day we have all been waiting for. My one week progression video from controller to keyboard and mouse. It's been a long time coming. We've, we've struggled quite a bit this week, but you know what? It was all worth it in the end because we've gone from a complete bot, a, a Timmy, to Timmy's brother, Jimmy, who is still a complete bot, but can yet beat Timmy in a 1v1 quite easily. In other words, we've gone from being an absolute default to having our first skin. It's a pretty ugly skin, but it's a skin. For those of you guys who are still living in your mother's basement and haven't heard the news yet, my $200 controller recently broke, and I've sent it into the shop to get repaired, but in the meantime, we've been kind of forced to transition to keyboard and mouse, so it, it, it was a struggle for sure, as I already said, but uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a fat like, hit subscribe, let's get into it. So I call this day zero because this is actually the day where I decide that I want to switch over the keyboard and the mouse. And my keyboard and the mouse that I currently had was absolute crap. So you know, you gotta trust good old Amazon. And uh, I think we got a pretty good bang for our buck. We did a couple hours of research and I found what I believe to be the best keyboard and mouse for me personally for as cheap as possible really. Links to both of those will be in the description below. Both of them together are only around like a hundred bucks or so. So it's not too expensive, it is more towards the budget side for gaming keyboards and mouses, but uh, it, I mean my experience with them this whole week was pretty good regardless. Now I also knew that when the keyboard and mouse finally came, I'd have to have keybinds for them. Now me being a controller player my whole life had no idea what the heck to assign anything to, so I went ahead and asked my favorite pro player, typical gamer, if he could show me his keybinds so that I can use them as a starting point. Then finally, after copying all of them down, it was only a matter of days before the keyboard and mouse finally arrived. <laughs> Best believe that once we got the keyboard and mouse, we went straight to work, ladies and gentlemen. First thing that we did is, of course, hop into creative, figure out our keybinds, uh, you know, just practice moving around with the keyboard and mouse, seeing what it's like. And now, uh, once I was comfortable enough, we decided to uh, show off how much a bot we were to the world. I think that in this entire like two hour live stream, our high score is only like four kills or something. So uh, uh, yeah, don't watch it, pretty embarrassing. Maybe I should just like, you know, private that video. Give me one sec. Anyways, day one was literally just a transition day, trying to figure out how it all works, how to build, how to move around, how to, you know, just be an absolute bot. Alright, so day two is when things start to get a little bit serious. I wake up, right? And I see immediately the typical gamer has betrayed me. He has uploaded a video changing his building keybinds. After I had already paid him five freaking dollars to have him show me his in the first place. So typical gamer, I know you're not watching, but you're an absolute forehead. So after changing my keybinds to his new keybinds, we get straight to work. First things first, I know that I need to fix my aim. So, shout out to It's Jerry and Frankie in a video on how to find your perfect sensitivity. It helped a ton. And uh, straight after that, we go ahead and download Kovacs. Because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, some people might even say that I'm cracked on the stick song controller. So, I'm not used at all to having bad aim on mouse. It, it, it was a hard transition. I literally spent like 90% of the day in Kovacs and I was still a bot by the end, but you know what? Our aim had proved tenfold. I ended up finishing the day by, uh, you know, doing a couple pubs, slapping some kids, getting clapped myself a bit more, and then also doing some 1v1s. So, uh, you guys can hopefully see just from these clips alone how much my aim improved. Like I said, I know I was still a bot, but I was a better bot. gonna be the day where we start paying a little bit more uh, closer attention to our keybinds and by a little bit I mean we're gonna literally change them three or four times a day for uh, forever and by forever I mean just like two or three days let's just say that by the time you're done my muscle memory was I mean it was completely non-existent as a result my building is gonna go just to complete crap there's, uh, there's no hope for me in that aspect. But what there is hope for me for is with my aiming. My muscle memory on that isn't going to change because my sensitivity isn't going to change, right? 
So I decided to spend a little bit more extra time on Kovacs than I normally would. So in total, over this week, we spent about two and a half hours every day on Kovacs, which is insane. At the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my high scores on each game when I first started Kovacs. And then what it was when I ended the week. Other than that, we're going to just practice a little bit more in some pubs, you know, get a... Uh, Get some good flicks, some good headshots, some, uh, some good deaths. Because I'm a bot, you know. Can't really, uh, afford to showcase wins on this channel, so instead we just showcase deaths. Additionally, I wanted to practice my editing on this day. I mean, it's literally just moving your mouth, so... I mean, it was worth the practice, at least. We didn't do a ton, but I did want to be able to at least, you know, edit myself out of the box if I needed to. And I can say full confidence that I can now perpetually edit myself out of a box after, you know, trying a couple times. Alright, so day four is gonna start out like normal. We're gonna queue into some Kovacs for a couple hours, break some, uh, you know, some old personal records. By this day, though, I was actually kind of, uh, you know, getting a little bit tired of keyboard and mouse. I wasn't improving as much as I had hoped to, and quite frankly, that's kind of, you know, demotivating. That was the point, though, when I remembered that Team Rumble, the bot lobby of all bot lobbies, was a thing. The best thing about Team Rumble is that it's so good practice, because not only do you get to practice building and practice shooting, but you get to practice them together in tons of different fights in just one game. Being able to combine the two most important aspects of the game into one, which in my opinion is the best skill that you can have as a Fortnite player. Team Rumble is honestly a lifesaver for me on this day, and I'm gonna continue to play it for every other day. And the great part is, is because I practice Team Rumble every day for the rest of the week, my growth just went up exponentially as the week continued. So overall, I've got to say that day four was the most pivotal point throughout this entire process. So, as usual, I come home, I do about two hours of Kovacs on this day, and then it gets interesting, because I hop over to Team Rumble and play for about four hours straight, with the one sole purpose in mind of finding good keybinds. If you guys want to see some on screen now, this is what worked for me. So if you guys want to try it out for yourself, if you think about switching as well, I mean, it's not a bad idea. The reason why finding keybinds was so important for me at this stage is because I could progress so much faster by becoming a good builder, which I couldn't be if I didn't have keybinds that worked for me, right? So over the next couple days, obviously, my building's gonna start, you know, intensifying. My 90s are even gonna end up being faster than ever on controller. It's gonna be some good times. Like I said before, when you have good aiming and good building combined, it makes a world full of a difference. By the end of the week, like I said, we'll have Jimmy aim and Jimmy building, but it will, it will be good enough, you know? It'll be better than Timmy. Alright, so we're heading towards the very end of the week, but you know what? That doesn't mean that we're still not making progress, so... Day 6, we actually happen to be a rebel and not do Kovacs until the end of the day for once. So, uh, we're actually gonna start off the day by warming up a little bit and then heading over to once again do a live stream. My main goal for this day was just trying to be better every game in Team Rumble. I, uh, I think I started out with like 7 kills, moving up to 11 and to like 15 and then to 19 and then we're trying to get 20 bombs for the rest of the day. So my whole focus of day 6 was just self-improvement. Trying to get to the point where I felt comfortable, like super comfortable building and aiming and all that simultaneously. I also just realized that I'm using hand movements, but you guys can't even see my face. <laughs> So that's kind of pointless. Anyways, towards the end of the live stream, we're actually going to start getting pretty insane. And, um, I mean, what else can I say, dude? We were just goaded on the sticks. Except, instead of sticks, it's a, it's a keyboard and a mouse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached day 7. And, uh, let me just say, out of the 24 hours in the day, we spent 6 of them on either Kovacs, or Fortnite. So, uh, th I mean, that was a long session to say the least. Basically, after we warmed up in Kovacs for a couple hours, we went straight to Fortnite. And about 90% of the time there, we did Zone Wars. Now, Fortnite is all about taking progressive steps, right? So, 
We learned how to build and shoot at the same time in uh, Team Rumble. But I wanted to accelerate that growth. I wanted to become better at it. And so I feel like the next stage is going from the bots of Team Rumble to go into the tryhard lobbies of Zone Wars. And honestly, I think it's paying off so far. I also told you guys that at the end of the video, I would show you guys uh, my Kovacs records from uh, the first day I did it compared to the last day. And, uh, I don't know. You can see it on screen now. Tell me in the comments below, because I have no idea. This good for week one? Is it is it I, or is it just absolutely trash? You can, uh, tell me whatever. I promise I won't get triggered and shove your grandma into the middle of the street or anything. Anyways, guys, I think that we pretty much improved in, like, every aspect from day one to day seven. Anyways, so, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smack that like button. Hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on those post notifications while you're at it. If you guys like to see some more keyboard and mouse videos later on this week, uh, hit me up in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys today, though. So without further ado, you are all legends. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.